hello everyone so in this video we will carry on with our character here style as alligator or crocodile uh, in this example and uh, i will begin with uh, the polypaint then we will go on and add some secondary details and for the polypaint i switch to skin shade 4 if you click it here you can see uh, skin shade 4 it ship default with the zebra select it and uh, as usual if you have seen my previous videos i use z color uh, to pick up the certain color the good thing about z color is you can just pick any color even outside if it's outside the zbrush software itself so i will pick any green color and just hover my mouse and just set the color and uh, it is not filled yet so i have go to color or if you can see it uh, here it you will see the fill object okay and i will just fill it you can assess it by going into color and fill object here i have made a shortcut here and i will just click it and it will fill the current sub tool with the green color i will just switch to the white and uh, a slightly gray if you press space bar you can assess the color palette from here too and uh, i will just hold alt and click on the tooth and uh, just fill this with the gray color for the eyes i will switch the yellowish tone from z color again just click and drag and just select it and fill the eyes with the fill object for the eyelids i will choose the same color as the body just switch it to the green i am pressing c okay c to pick color from the zbrush itself and if it's outside the zbrush go to z color and just click and drag select it from the outside of zbrush okay now for the iris and pupils i will append a sphere but before that uh, we have to fill this neck with the yellow color too so as you can see if i switch back to my main mesh uh, here there are two different polygroups i will just open the gizmo hold control and click on it and as you can see i will just it is selected the other uh, polygroup is masked and this yellow one is currently unmarked so i'll go to z color and just click and drag again and pick the body color and just if i press shift f to go back to the color mode which it was in shape it was in the frame mode before i will click on the fill object and the unmarked part will be fixed with the current color selected the marks part will remain the same so we have the base color now and uh, now for the iris uh, i can just use the paint brush b p here it is the paint brush i have made a shortcut here here the paint brush i have made a shortcut here which is here for the iris i make it a separate mesh and i will do this same to it i will just switch back to eyes and open the gizmo hold control and click and drag to duplicate the object i will invert the marks and give it a different polygroups so they both have different polygroups so i can select it easily okay now i will just place it the pupils i will scale it down and just try to match the i will select the white color for that and uh, fill it with the white color now as i said in my earlier videos this uh, render is from a certain angle so it won't be exactly the same because in this model i have changed the lo uh, location of the iris in order to match the render but for that i want to keep it symmetrical as much as possible to explain you guys so i will just try to keep it it won't be as similar as the render just use move brush
now i will pick up the brown color the dark brown color set the color and click on fill object to fill the iris with the brown colors now the material of the eyes i don't like it and i always switch to toy plastic if you click on skin shade 4 and select toy plastic uh, it is also a default zbrush material and it is shipped with zebra installation now i want to fill only the material not the polypen color itself so i can do it i can fill it with only the material information which is uh, if i press the if you see here in on your ui you will see this m rgb rgb and m turn on m and just make sure the eyes are selected and click fill object what it will do is it won't copy it won't fill the object with rgb instead it will only fill the object with the material so if i switch to skin shade 4 you can see that the eye material is filled with toy plastic now the second thing i will do is i will go back to toy plastic i will go to material and in the modifier palette i will switch the ambient from 35 to 50 i always increase the ambient parameters of the toy plastic which will brighten up the material a bit more now uh, i have to fix the shape of the iris i will use the move brush and try to gently just gently use the stroke and try to make the shape of the uh, iris now for the pupils i will just color it but uh, the eyes are having dynamic subdivision i will click shift d and i will hit ctrl d multiple times until it has like a 300 plus k polygons or active points if you are using zbrush because the poly paint uses vertex points and we need to have a lot of vertex points on our geometry to able to poly paint properly so for the eyes i will just hit ctrl shift and tap it and isolate the uh, hide the iris and i will just go back to z color and pick up the brightest part of the eye and i will switch to paint brush and just paint it in okay just gently you have to use those stroke to just paint the eyes i will again control shift tap and uh, for the i will switch to i will hit uh, c to pick the color i will go back I will press the space bar and turn this into a black and just with the paint brush I will try to gently paint the uh, pupils okay I can always go back and remove it let's see how it is looking well it is looking quite good so far it not looking as funky as it is but we can change always change the shape of the eyes a bit more now after uh, doing a polypment a little bit we can see our design a bit better so i will just switch to move topology brush and move this iris part a little bit okay try to give it a eye shape now i will pick this brighter color and try to gently fill the across the iris okay just gently don't let the pupils don't hit the pupils just you have to match the colors with your reference gently tap it you don't have to be completely precise now i will pick up more brighter color than the last one and or the change color and i will just try to indicate that the iris have multiple colors okay now i'll pick up the darkest of the iris and gently fill the upper part let's see how it looks just gently so uh, we have the uh, basic 
colors filled with onto the model now for the after having all the colors on our mesh i will switch to the brightest part or the highly saturated part and try to add it on the top of the current color for example here it is less saturated and quite less bright color i will switch to the i will first of all try, try to change this color i will just try to try to more darken it and just fill it okay now it is looking a more brighter i will switch to z color pick up this bright spot and try to use the paint brush and just gently try to fill it in as you can see how it make our model a bit more with the personality now i'm not liking this part this nozzle part i will switch to play tubes brush i will turn off the alpha and try to gently add more clay on top of it okay just in order to indicate that this part is higher than the rest of it now we have some colors on i will just switch to the nostrils the darkest of the green and again i'll switch to paint color and just try to fill the nostrils with now after filling up the nostrils with the dark color we can uh, see the shape of the nostrils uh, more properly the shape of the nostrils goes like this on our reference compared to our actual model it is quite looking like this and we just have to fix it simply as that i will just use the move brush try to go in the lower subdivision and just fix the nostril so as you can see that the poly paint or the color or texturing is very important for our character we can see our character more better with the poly paint on it always try to fill your model with the poly paint first then continue your sculpting i will just push this nostril here more to match the uh, shape of our design it won't be completely identical as i said above now for the colors i will pick up the brightest of the green and just use the paint brush and tap it gently like this okay just gently you don't have to do it you don't have to overdo it just like that and i will pick up the orange colors uh, and you could do also the darkest first for example the cavity of this green or the bottom of the green i want a bit darker so i will pick up increase the saturation a little bit and just paint the bottom of the green part i will first mark it use the paint brush just use the bottom of the green mesh into a darker one so it is already uh, starting to look like uh, our concept and i approach to poly paint like blocking out the character this is my approach to poly paint basically i go from darkest to brighter and this bump here is quite bugging me so let's quickly add it i will switch to the lower subdivision i will use clay tube constraint and just try to I will turn off the alpha and just try to fill it so that it looks like our bump here okay I will just use the standard brush and smooth it out and uh, in the end the move brush is always our best friend and uh, here it is the brightest of the yellow so i will quickly add the i will select the paint brush and quickly just 
एट द ब्राइटेस्ट ऑफ द ऑफाइड कलर हेयर एंड हेयर इट इज़ गोइंग अ बिट ऑफ अ डार्केस्ट ब्राउन आई विल जस्ट यूज दिज ही कलर एंड ट्राई टू पेंट दिस पार्ट इन टू अ ब्राउन एंड हेयर इट विल आर पेंट टू जस्ट अ हिंट ऑफ ब्राउन नाउ दिस शेप्स एंड द सेकेंडरी क्रैक्स एंड other details i will fill it in the next video okay these are some are the secondary details and some are tertiary details tertiary comes after the secondary details so at the moment i am only going to cover poly paint and i have covered it so far and in the next video i will be adding this secondary shapes along with this uh, scales and cracks in all of this body and again i will tune it with the poly paint and in the next video i will be doing some final touch ups along with the poly paint and tertiary details so i will wind up this video here and i hope you like this video and if you liked it please subscribe to the channel share with the fellow artists and next video will continue this burst until next time please take care